Right. Mark, did you have a question? So it's just question about shops. Where, which, which, which regional are y'all going to be in? Which double <laughs> tournament? Have absolutely no idea, but thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Biz on nice softball. For the real <laughs> media here. Use the microphone, please. Uh, uh, what can you say just about the job Kelvin's done uh, from four years ago to, to get them on the, on the verge of the NCAA tournament? You know, uh, I'll put a little context on this. I went into uh, Fertitta Center last week, or I should say Hoffines, and I walked through the locker rooms that are currently being renovated. And to see where our facilities were when he took over and what he's been able to build, uh, you know, figuratively and literally based off of what he had to work with and the investment the institutions made, you know, with facilities and then the reciprocal return based off of what's happening on the court, you know, but that doesn't happen without a great coach. And uh, Coach Sampson's done an incredible job. The kids that he's brought in here and the direction of this program, you know, we are very excited about the future. Pez, have you looked at the bracket at all and any thoughts about the potential of U of H being in Dallas for their game? You know, you always look at, I'm sure, it, you know, that'd be exciting, but it's, you know, it's still up in the air. It's, you know, it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's kind of, what if scenarios, there's so many of them. It's, you know, certainly we, you know, if we're local, we'd like to think that we would have a great crowd. Because what's it like though that, I know you weren't here the last few years, but teams that typically need to do some work to get into the tournament have to go into a conference tournament, maybe a little extra load on their shoulders. This team, if you go with the projections, is what they would call a lock or safe on that line. What do you think that means just to, to not have to go into Orlando with, with that, that burden? Well, you know, it talks about how far we've come as a program just in the last four years with Coach Sampson. I mean, we, you know, uh, when Tom was here, we had to play our way in and win a conference championship to be able to get in. I believe it was 2000 or 2010, pardon me. And now to be sitting here and uh, into the regular season and be able to, you know, believe that we're locked in. Uh, Again, and talk. It's a testament to what Coach Sampson this program. Is that hard to say? You know, the, the fact that you guys are in. I mean, this hasn't happened in so long. No, I don't think it's hard to say. You know, it's just it's kind of like you know playing with house money. You know, you, you don't want to assume it, but you know you'd like to believe it's the case. You know, I think this program has put together an incredible resume, this team, and uh, feel really good about where we are. There's been a lot of great teams through the school. Where would you say this one ranks and? What are you excited about looking forward to this tournament? Well, since I was uh, 14, when in 1984, you know, uh, when we last won a basketball game uh, in the NCAA tournament, it's uh, I, I wasn't living here yet. I was living in California, but I remember that game distinctly as a kid and being a fan of Houston. And it, it says a, a lot. I mean, it's just a big deal. And uh, uh, we're excited about our chances moving forward in the next couple of weeks. Danielle? Did uh, you know you were watching from afar? Did you uh, you know you, I'm sure you knew you knew that Kelvin had been hired here. I mean, you know you didn't you didn't have a vested interest at the time. Did any thoughts cross your mind at the same? Well, that's a, you know that's, that's kind of a cool thing for UH. Uh, can you reflect back on that period? Sure. You know, um, yeah, I, I always watch the games. I mean, you know, I was one of the guys that was streaming it online when I couldn't get it. Um, you know, I, this is my school, so I always watched them. But yeah, you know. You know when you got a good coach, you just do. And you know when you've got a good program and you can see what's happened. You know, today, you know, coach will tell you this, it wasn't the prettiest game, but you know, you turn around and win by what, eight, nine points and uh, 10, pardon me, and you grit it out. I mean, that, that says a lot about where we are. And uh, I'm really excited, I, you know, with the conference tournament and then after that. I hate to not let you guys get out the door before we ask this, but, sure. uh, Timetable for Fertitta Center, is it looking right now like you guys will, will need to start the season here again next year, or there's a contingency on, on what y'all will do? Sure. Uh, it, in all likelihood, we'll start the season here. Uh, we've talked to our partners at TSU, and if I'd be remiss if I didn't thank again, uh, like Kelvin did, uh, Charles and Coach Davis and the TSU administration. They have been extraordinary, and uh, I hope we can reciprocate the kindness to them. They've been really just incredible people to us and partners. Um, the opportunity to do this and have it so close and obviously have the results be what they are. But uh, yeah, in all likelihood, we're gonna need to start uh, the season away from home. And then uh, we're working on the exact date right now. I would expect to be able to announce something sooner than later. Thank you very much. Yeah, Chris, right. Thank you. Gotta get back in here.